boys and girls. So today's lesson is all about cultural diversity. Who are you? Where do you come from? What are your family traditions? What is your religion? We'll talk about all of that today. Bye. Sorry. And basically defining who you are. So, Sahil, where are you? There you are. So, Sahil, would you look at me differently if I wore a hat? Mm -hmm. Who is the person? Still you. It's still me. Would you look at me differently if I wore a cap? It's still you. Still me. Would you look at me differently if I wore a ordini? Ordini or dupatta? Mm -hmm. Still you. Still me. Would you look at me differently if I wore a do rag? So this is not really a do rag, but something. Would you look at me differently, or is it still me? Still you. Still me. Would you look at me differently if I wore a hijab? Still you. Still you, mom. Let's make sure I cover all my hair. Still you. Still you. It's still me. This is me. Doesn't matter what I wear. Doesn't matter what my hair color is. Doesn't matter what my skin color is. This is me. Just like this is you. So let's go ahead and start our lesson on cultural Culture, diversity. Diversity. Let's go. So we are here. Zoomed in. So what is cultural diversity? Culture is what makes us all unique and different. Clothing food, language, music, religion, and family traditions are things that create a culture. So Sahil, what culture are you from? Do you know your culture? Where are you from? Do you know where you're from? I am from uh, Texas. You were born in Texas. Do you know where I was born? I was born in Saudi Arabia. New York. No, I lived in New York. I was born in Saudi Arabia. Then we moved to New York. Do you know where my mom is from? New York? No, my mom is from India. Your mom? Yeah. Do you know where my dad is from? India. What? Both of them? Yes. So what do you think I am? What's my culture? Am I Japanese? What's my culture? Indian. Indian. Indian is my culture. Okay. So what do you think diversity means? Diversity means many different kinds. So cultural diversity means there are many kinds of special cultures all around the world. So let's look at some clothing from around the world. So what is this? This is, this is jean and she's wearing a little tank top. This is from what country? Mexican clothing wear. America. So this kind of, these type of clothing are worn in America, United States, which is where? Here, right? So the next clothing is from what part of the world? In India. India, you wear a sari. This is a kimono. I actually own a kimono. This is a kimono and it is from ja Japan. Japan. There were a lot of kimonos there. This is from Saudi Arabia. They wear an abaya. The men wear white. The women wear a black. I actually have one of these. Do you see me wearing them in Dubai? I wore them in Dubai. This is from what country? Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. This is a I'm not, I hope, hope I'm saying this correctly, a sarafan. It's a dress, like an overall kind of dress. They have an undershirt and then an overshirt. And this dress is from Russia. Russia. Good. This is clothing from Mexico. What? It's the poncho and a sombrero. Mexico. All right, so... That was the clothing from around the world. We obviously did not go all around the world, but we did a little bit. Now we're going to look at food. Sahil, you want to know something super fun? Yeah. This is chapati. Roti. This is roti. It's from what country? India. India. But Kenya, a lot of people in East Africa also eat chapati. 
So it originated in India, but people in Kenya also eat chapati. Now, this is arepas. It's from Colombia. So it's, it's like a bread. It's made with um, corn flour, but it's really good. This is naan, and it's made from turkey. We have it all the time, right, Sahil? Every time. Tortilla, another kind of flatbread. Flatbreads are so famous everywhere in the world. If you just research a little bit, you'll know that everyone eats flatbread, some kind of shape, name, or form. So tortilla is, you can make tacos out of that, and that originates from Mexico. And my favorite, I love this, pita bread. And pita bread originates from Palestine. Okay, so that is food from the world. Now these are languages from the world. Everyone says hello, but in a different way. So hola is hello in Russia. Spanish. Bonjour is hello in French. French. Salam. Is hello in Middle Eastern countries. Salam alaikum. Yes. Konnichiwa is hello in Japan. Ko konnichiwa. Namaste is hello in India. Namaste. Aloha is hello in Hawaii. Aloha. 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 Hello. Hello. Is hello in America. Marhaba. Marhaba. Arabic people also use marhaba to say hello. Um, hello in Chinese is called ni hao. Ni hao. Shalom is hello in Hebrew. People, people from Israel say shalom. So another major thing about cultural diversity is religion. So there is Christianity, Islam, Hinduism. Judaism, Buddhism. There are many different religions. Religion is a belief that people around the world follow. It is a very important part of culture since it affects how people live. Okay? This is the world map. Look how big it is. Look how beautiful it is. Look how cultural it is. People live in 196 countries around the world. Do you know where you and your parents are from? Learn more about your culture and traditions and be proud of where you came from. So Sahil, we're gonna do a super fun activity. Are you ready? Before we review, we are going to take a picture. So this is an idea you guys can do with your family. Have fun doing the Who Am I project with your family. Make sure to include a picture of yourself and answer the following questions. What's your eye, hair, and skin color? Where are your parents from? What language do you speak? What's your favorite song? What's your favorite food? What holidays do you celebrate? Do you have specific family traditions or clothing? What's your religion? Here's an example of what Sahil did. He wrote, my name is Sahil. I have black hair and black eyes. My skin color is brown. I am Muslim Indian American. An Indian food I like to eat is dosa. My favorite song is Bodo Deri by Barobax. It's a Persian song. I wear kurta pajama on special occasions. I celebrate Ramadan and Eid. I speak English and a little bit of Urdu. I There's only one of you. And you have to love yourself for that. So let's go ahead and review cultural diversity. What is cultural diversity? It's the food we eat. Say it. The food we eat. The languages we speak. The language we speak. The clothes we wear. The clothes we wear. 
the family traditions that we have. The family traditions of what we have. And our religion. And our religion. Love your culture. Love your culture. Share your culture. Share your culture. And don't be embarrassed about your culture. Don't be embarrassed about your culture. Okay? Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.